Israel has declared war on Hamas after the worst terror attack in its history. We speak to its ambassador in South Africa, Mr. Eli Velotsarovsky. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Please take our viewers through what sparked this war. Well, uh, this Saturday, uh, the last Saturday, basically, um, uh, Israel celebrated, uh, first of all, it's Saturday, so it's a holiday in Israel, but also it was a special day, a celebration of the Torah of the Bible. And uh, the Israelis were awoken uh, by a massive barrage of missiles uh, that were uh, the targeted civilian population in Jerusalem, in Tel Aviv, in Asdod, in Esquilon, and very many towns and cities of Israel. The initial barrage had lasted uh, for hours. Uh, people were under uh, in, in bomb shelters, uh, and the initial barrage was about 3,000 missiles that were fired on Israeli civilians. But in addition then, uh, to this, and under the, the protection of these missiles, the Hamas terrorist organization had sent armed bands of terrorists that penetrated Israeli territory through tunnels that were dug especially from this, through paragliders that landed on the Israeli territory, through boats that uh, that uh, uh, landed on the shores of Israel with armed terrorists in them. And basically, this whole operation was aimed to spread terror, to attack civilian population in the south of Israel. And unfortunately, we have lost, as of now, we, are, we have confirmed more than 700 victims. Most of them were civilians, all families, were were erased, and we are we are afraid that the numbers are are getting higher and higher and higher. And only this morning we managed to clear out all the terrorists, as far as we know, uh, from the Israeli territory. So now we have about uh, at least seven hundred uh, victims, and the numbers are are raising. As I said, we had we have uh, close to two thousand. Uh, wounded out of them uh, uh, a few hundreds that were severely wounded and some are in uh, life life uh, risking situation we have uh, we have uh, about 160 people that were forcibly kidnapped to the Gaza Strip uh, again civilians families old people this is something that is absolutely unprecedented. How has Israel retaliated thus far? And are we looking at a possible ground war? Well, we are, we are not uh, dealing with retaliation. Our purpose is to defend our people. And we need to do it by attacking the Hamas uh, installations, the perpetrators of this uh, massive, we are not fighting against the Palestinian people. We have no, 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 no uh, conflict with the people themselves. Our conflict is with the Hamas terrorist organization and with the Islamic Jihad that supported the Hamas and on this uh, on, on on this massacre. And our target is to uh, destroy the infrastructure, the terrorist infrastructure that has been developed in Gaza Strip uh, by the Hamas. How come the Israeli military and the intelligence services were caught off guard? Well, this question that we will deal with this later on, it's a legitimate question. Uh, as of now, we are still engaged in fighting, so uh, it's a bit early to to draw the conclusions, but I'm sure that uh, there will be a thorough investigation of what this Well, the way you described this attack, it was obviously highly organized and orchestrated who do you think was behind it? Well, uh, as I said, uh, this was perpetrated by the Hamas. We also have some information regarding the Iranian involvement in these attacks. Uh, we have some some reports uh, on this. Also, uh, some uh, some information has been published also in, in the media. 
uh, and we can we could also see that uh, from all the countries in the world, uh, absolutely all the countries in the world, we had uh, we had eighty two. Uh, we had actually more now, uh, uh, more than eighty countries that have uh, expressed their sympathies uh, uh, to Israel, had uh, expressed uh, their condemnation of this heinous attack. We have one country, Iran, that congratulated uh, Hamas on this terrorist uh, activity, on killing the, the innocent people. That's that uh, speaks for itself. Well, I think the African National Congress here has also come out in support of Hamas. Well, uh, the African National uh, uh, the ANC has published a statement. I I wouldn't like to refer to it. Uh, what international support are you receiving? I understand that, uh, there was a, a U.S. warship has appeared in your area. Well, we we uh, the support that we received, and we received the tremendous support by expressing uh, sympathies, by putting uh, many uh, letters and statements of governments condemning uh, this action. Oh, we had seen Israeli flags uh, that had been raised in uh, quite a number of capitals. Uh, around all over the world, we have seen um, government buildings that were lightened in blue and white in Israeli colors. Uh, again, we have seen many many statements of uh, of uh, people, uh, also common people. We are getting all the time uh, uh, expressions of, of solidarity and support. Also. Uh, uh, Celebrities and and others that that uh, that express their uh, their sympathies. Uh, so so we definitely feel that we have a strong uh, support from from the population, basically worldwide and also here. I see some people have described this as Israel's nine eleven. Uh, do you agree with that? Well, I, I, I don't know if this is the right time to uh, brand uh, these events in any way. I think it was uh, it was uh, a, a, a terrible event, uh, absolutely. And uh, we will need, which it's a bit early now, I think, to draw any conclusions. I'm sure uh, we will, or we will, the lessons from this. Are you likely looking? At a long and bloody war. Well, we hope not. But uh, as of now, we have, uh, as I said, uh, people in Gaza that were kidnapped, and uh, we will need to see uh, how to manage this situation. It's uh, it's uh, we, we we haven't experienced something on such a scale before, and uh, and uh, and of course we need to to uh, make sure that this will not be repeated uh, by basically. Destroying the terrorist infrastructure. Thank you. That was the Israeli am ambassador to South Africa, Ili Belotsarovsky, speaking to Biz News about the terror attack that sparked a war. Thank you, sir. Thank you.